about all of your fitness equipment. Okay, first is the hamstring machine. With this machine, it's for the back of the legs, the hamstrings. You want to sit down in the chair, okay? You take these handles on the sides, you push it forward, you put your feet in front, let the handles go, and then you bend your legs up and down. Your breathing is always breathing in when it goes up and breathing out when it goes down. One tip for your breathing is that whenever the weight stack goes up, that's when you breathe out. When the weight stack goes down, that's when you breathe in. In and out. Okay, to get out of the machine, grab the hand, just push the hand forward, take your feet to the side, and lower it down. Next machine is gonna be the chest press machine. The press, chest press machine is right here. We sit down on the machine. There's two adjustments. One adjustment is on this, the side to determine how far back you want your press to go. The second is once you're in the machine, and if you can't reach the handles, you put your feet on the adjustment bar, you push down, grab the handles, and now you can reach full range, back and forth. Again, when the weight stack goes up, that's when you're breathing out. When the weight stack goes down, that's when you're breathing in. To get out of the machine, you put your foot here, you let go of the handles, lower it back. The next machine, over here. Right, continuing on, here's our leg extension machine. The leg extension has two major adjustments. The first adjustment is here on this red knob that determines how low the roller sits on your ankle. So you want it right around the bottom of your ankle, above your foot. The second adjustment is here on the side. You lift this knob up and the seat moves forward. You push this knob down and the seat moves back. One tip for you is that if you sit, you want your knees to line up with the pivot point of the machine. If your knees are too far in front of the pivot point, there's gonna be a lot of pressure on your knees. So you want to adjust it so that the knees move back. I'm going to use this adjustment here and watch how the knees go back, line up with the pivot, so it's a lot less pressure when you do the exercise. All right, moving on. Come over here. This is the universal equipment. On this equipment, on each station, there's multiple exercises you can do knowing how to adjust it. Everywhere you see a black T-shaped knob, there's a point where you can adjust it. There's a knob here, there's a knob here, there's a knob here. All of these adjustments make it so that you can do different types of exercises. So let's start with the vertical knee raise station. Over here, this is for the lower abs. Once you get on the machine, there's three levels you can do with that. The first level is to lift both knees up together. If that's too difficult, you can do one leg at a time. If that's too difficult, you can leave one foot on the platform while you lift one leg up. While still working the lower abs. The next station is the pec deck station, which has a leg extension and leg curl attachment. The leg extension is the same as that machine that we did earlier. To do the pec deck, we're gonna sit here, we put our arms behind the rollers, and remember, through every difficult part of an exercise is when you wanna exhale. So I breathe in, and we exhale as we squeeze the elbows together. With this, you want to push with the elbow and not push with the hands. We're pushing the elbows together. We're not doing this. All right? Next is the press arm station. The press arm station is accompanied by a multi-angle bench, which you can move anywhere put in the room. The adjustment for the press arm bar is that black T-shaped knob we spoke about earlier. I adjust it right here. I sit on a multi-angle bench. And as I push up, I'm breathing out. Breathe in, and then exhale. The fourth station is gonna be the back extension station, which is right here. The back extension station, the adjustment's gonna be right here for the hat, so bring it up and down. The weight stack is right here. To do this exercise, we keep our feet on the floor, we bend it forward over the machine, hands to the side, and then we lift up. Up, and then down. That's for the lower back. And the fifth and final station for this machine is going to be the abdominal station. The abdominal station that's locking your legs in is going to be your knees over the roller, and then your ankles under the second roller. You push your foot in first, one foot, sit down, and then put the second foot in. The easiest way to do this is to lay flat, 
you breathe in, and as you breathe out, you're sitting up. As you breathe out. To get out of the machine, you grab the handles here in the middle, lower one foot, then lower the other. The second exercise for this machine is the knee lift machine, or also called the reverse crunch. For that, I'm laying back. I hold the machine to brace my upper body down on the sides here, or the middle handle, and I lift the knees to the chest, up and down. Okay? And that's it for the universal machine. So let's continue on with our specific machines, our specialty ones. This is the bicep machine. It works the upper arm and the inside of the bicep. So for that, the adjustment is going to be here on the seat. When we do the exercise, we don't want our shoulder to be much higher than our elbow. If the shoulder is much higher than the elbow, then that means that the seat is too high. So right now you can see my shoulder is too high. So I want to lower the seat. I lower it by here. So now when I sit inside, you can see my shoulders in the right place, line with the elbow. So I'm hitting the intended target muscle for the exercise. All right. Next is going to be lat pull down. Lat pull down is right here. This is this is for the back to help give you a V taper. Also helps give you a, 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 night, a narrow, more tighter waist. We adjust the weight stack here. We adjust the leg holding right here. <clears throat> the important thing here is to remember that your hands are even on the bar. Use the marks on the bar to make sure that you don't have one hand too close and one hand too far. Once you've got your hand grips, you sit down, you breathe in, and you exhale as the weight stack rises. Breathe in, and then exhale as the weight stack rises. Always pull to your front. Never, ever pull it to your back. Never do that. That would be bad. To get out of the machine, you continue holding, you stand up, put it down, then you let go. Next is the cable machines over here. So the cable, we have tricep push down. The adjustment is here. We put it on a light weight. We keep our elbows to our side. We breathe in, and as we exhale, we're pushing down. Breathe in, and then breathe out. You always want to keep the elbows to the side, and your objective here is to bring your hands to the front of your thighs, standing up straight. That's for the back of the arms, for toning and tightening the back of the arms. The second exercise that you can do on this cable machine <clears throat> is for your torso. It's called a wood chop, where we're going to start at our upper left, and our target is going to be to our lower right as we twist to the side. And next is our seated row machine. This is to target the, the tone of your mid upper back right in the middle here. Okay. The way it's done is you adjust the weight by pulling the pen. The higher you put it up, the lighter the weight, the lower you put it, the heavier the weight. You grab the handles. You sit down first after you're seated. You put your feet up on the footrest. Keep your spine nice and straight, head up. Always look up, don't look down. You're going to breathe in as you lean forward, and as you breathe out, you sit up straight, pulling your hands to your waistline, squeezing your elbows behind you nice and tight. So you lean forward, and you pull back. Lean forward, and pull back. To get down off the machine, you put your feet down first, scoot forward, let the cables press, handles down, you stand up, and you're all done. So, in summary, we've covered the entire strength training and toning machines of the Harrison Park Tower Gym. If you have any questions about, about admissions or about pricing, you can go to the management office. If you have any questions about exercise or personal training, you can call us here at Coltrane Fit. Our email address and our phone number is here. Um, or you can see us on any social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or any of those. All right, look forward to seeing you soon.